Hi, it's Mr. Warren. Um, I'm just doing a recording of the um, the FET simulation for the Operon because um, one student was having trouble getting it to run on their computer. Um, so I'll run through it. Um, <clears throat> and for the best possible learning, you should uh, pause and respond to the prompts when I give you, uh, give you the heads up. All right, so. Here's the situation. We want to turn the legend on so we know what things are, so you can get a sense of what these things are. Um, and then the first thing I need to do is drag both genes into place. So I'm going to put that one there and that one there. And so at this point, you should be thinking about is the mere presence of gene um, enough for its protein to get made? Now we put the um lack one promoter in and looks like that's making a beeline there in reality it would be random molecular motion until it actually got there but check out what's happening remember you can look at the legend All right, so that thing got produced, that lack one thing got produced. You want to think about um, what it's for um, and specifically take a look around for uh, where it might fit. And then you want to test that by first adding the operator and then the promoter for this thing. So if we put that there, I should tell you something about where it fits. And then if we put the promoter in, and think about what happens here. Or actually probably more appropriately, what doesn't happen there. So you want to be thinking about what's the function of that lock operator um, and why you think that's important. So now we're going to throw in around 10 molecules of lactose um, and no more. And you want to observe and describe what happens. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And also be thinking about how um, is what you see and you're describing um, going on here. How's it different um, or how is what you just described, the limited supply of lactose different from when lactose is consistently around? Um, so to test that consistently around thing, we're going to put this on auto. Is actually, hold on, let me put it back on manual um, because you're going to want to see what happens here eventually. All right, so you want to take in, take in, take into mind what's what's going on now, or actually what's not going on anymore um, and then <clears throat> if we do consistent presence of lactose how is that how is what you see going on here different than if um, lactose is only around a little bit and I might need to juice this up a little bit just to get things going Right, so again, this is this is probably better behavior for thinking about um, lactose being consistently around.
So again, what you want to think about what is happening here and how that compares to when it was a manual supply. So I'll just let, I'll turn off the supply and have you see what's going to happen here. And that's the key moment right there. So what just happened to that system? All right, so there's a couple things to, uh, <clears throat> to consider before we, you move on. Um, so uh, what seems to be controlling whether the LAXE gene's on or off, um, and then why would evolution favor um, this type, the type of gene system that you've got here. So um, the, the on-off control thing. All right, so then we want to look at the lactose transport situation. All right, so we've got the legend on. We need to put some things in. So we want to put the genes in. We want to put the promoter in over here and the operator. And we'll just get a sense of what's going on. So things to think about here are, um, so think about what, what's a little bit different in this situation than the previous situation. And then we're also going to throw in the LAC1 gene as well as its promoter. And take a look at what happens. All right, so we're going to turn the injector on to auto. Take a look and see what happens. One thing to think about here is that um, lactose is a sugar. Um, it's a disaccharide, so made of two monosaccharides. Um, and once it's broken apart into its two pieces, it can be used as a food source for the bacterium. All right, so if you have a sense of what's going on here, I'm going to turn the injector off so you can get a sense of what happens after that.
So think about what's happening here. Oops, I blew it. As I was supposed to. Wait till just before the last green black Y showed up. So I just faked it there. So we got a little bit of lactose in the environment. And you want to watch and see what happens to the system here again. Put a little bit more in, into the system. All right, so a big thing to focus on here is how is this system different from um, the lactose regulation one before? This one is a little bit more realistic. Um, and um, yeah, move on from there. All right, let me know if you need some help.